I, and I, I like that, that you almost got into uh, a part about uh, artistic jealousy because you know when I, for instance, look at your work, I, I really like how controlled it is, hmm. and I, I sort of uh, get a little bit jealous about <laughs> controlled artists. Yeah, right. Uh, and uh, you know. <laughs> Uh, the reason why I managed to become a better and better artist, you know, grow as an artist, is I mean, for the first 20 years or 30 years of my life, it was mostly artistic jealousy. Whenever I saw someone who was better at me at mm. anything, I wanted to kick their ass. And I <laughs> <laughs> couldn't do it uh, no no uh, physically so so i had to do it artistically a and uh, uh, and that took me a, a good way and then it was in the recent years starting to recognize that no no i don't really have to be uh jealous at chet for for doing these awesome you have these very straight compositions that are, are it, it is everything has its place and everything is it's exactly where it should be and there's symmetry and there's uh, all these textures and everything look and i don't i don't have to hate you for doing that i can just celebrate that you you're able to do that right uh, uh, and uh, you know i can think to myself eh, uh, if i just spent 10 years uh, to try to do that <laughs> i could do that as well but i uh, i couldn't spend 10 years doing that because i would get bored mm -hmm. yeah it takes uh, a certain kind uh, of mindset i think <laughs> yeah I, I, and probably i'm not going to hype myself up too much but Probably you couldn't do what I do either because... I, I find it uh, extremely difficult to do things in the way that you're doing it, where it's like, you know, the controlled chaos thing, you know, where yeah, it's all I, about I, chaos and simplicity. I find that very difficult. So it's not my natural state at all. So I feel the same way about you as well. And Gabe, Gabe Leonard and I have this conversation all the time because he's a loose painter and I tend to paint more tight and we're always like admiring each other's technique, kind of jealous in a way. I mean, I feel that way of him, like, oh, I wish I could paint that loose. And then he's, he's always like, man, you make me feel lazy because <laughs> your stuff's so detailed. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's like with artists, it's always kind of a grass is always greener situation, but, but, yeah. but it's important that we, that, that we uh, can appreciate what we are doing differently because we don't all want to be doing the same thing. That would suck if every artist was doing the same thing. That's not good. It's not interesting. I mean, uh, <laughs> isn't that what AI will bring yeah. to the table? <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> Where everything starts I looking mean, homogenized in the same. But yeah, I, I think just to, to sum up my thoughts on, on this, I think the for me personally the the artistic jealousy was really important and now it's very even more important to to just start to be able to not just express my ad admiration for other artists and for people who can paint clean and for people who mm. can paint i mean people can paint the most insane things yeah, and that is really wonderful. And to be able to not just you know say the admiration, but 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 to feel it, to feel that it's fantastic that other people uh, have uh, have a different different sense of fun. Yeah, because right. that's what it is. Totally. I find the chaos fun. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, even when I was in effects, when I was a sculptor. My, I kind of specialized in detail, like sculpting pores. I love that sort of thing where you're like, get way in and just sculpt pores. And it, and, and a lot of, most sculptors in the industry were like, hated detailing because it was so boring. And it's like, you have to have a certain type of 
personality, I think, to do that sort of thing. Mm. So I'm like, I, I re, I really, really would like to love that little <laughs> tiny process. I, I, and I look at people who do that, who can just get lost in that and think that seems so peaceful. Yeah. <laughs> so nice to be able to spend hours just yep. dreaming away. But but no, I, I get so bored. I that's, get so incredibly that's like, bored. That's like me. It's like Gabe. Gabe says the same thing. It's like, he's just too boring for him to detail. He's not into it. And uh, I can totally, I can appreciate that. I, that. And that's what, you know, that's what makes us all interesting and unique as artists. You know, we have our, our if we're uh, expressing ourselves authentically, then the artwork's all going to be unique and we can all admire mm -hmm. each other's work. And that's what I, was, I wanted to say also, quickly, uh, uh, you know, I feel that jealousy as well. I think all artists do. And, the, and I think as you mature as an artist, the jealousy becomes admiration and, and you, and it's not, you know, it can be a driving force, especially when you're younger, like, Oh man, I want to get better. I want to get better. I want to get that good. And I think as you get older, at least for me, it's sort of like you learn to admire that what you can't do that other people can do mm. and appreciate it and not have it, you know, destroy you. <laughs> it takes confidence to right. admire yeah, someone right. else, to admire your peers. Right, right. And that and that and that's confidence comes from creating a lot of your own work, I think. And time, yeah. you know, and getting older. Confidence comes from failing miserably again and again yes. and seeing that people don't <laughs> care as much as you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there's no no better place to learn that than on the on the internet.